Hey gang, Amherst Phil here. As you can see, we've got uh, a game file sent in by Reger playing his Vladivostok. Uh, if the handful of you who watch my videos regularly know that I posted up a game of my own in Vladivostok not too long ago. And Reger saw that and decided that he was going to show me how to do it. Yeah, okay, I'm not a BB main, that's for sure. And really all I know about this game is that Reger had a good game. If you saw the intro screen, you can see that he had uh, over 2200 base XP, which is uh, not too shabby. Okay, so let's take a look at the matchmaking. There is a CV on each team. It's only tier 6 in that way, pretty similar to the game that I played. Um, DD's, he's got an Akazuki and an Akatsuki to be concerned about. Now Akazuki, as you may know, is uh, the gunboat line of the Imperial Japanese Navy. And it's, it's super fun to play and it can definitely be deadly if it gets itself in a situation where it's got teammates spotting for it and it can smoke up. It can put out a huge volume of shells in addition to its torpedo threat. And the Akatsuki, a tier lower, is, uh, at least in my opinion, a serious torpedo threat. Three launchers can spread them out quite a bit, cover a great area. And because they are Japanese torpedoes, they hit very hard. So Reacher, apparently well aware of that, is sitting back. Not so far that he can't hit anything, but far enough away that he has a little bit less to worry about with regards to torpedoes, at least early in the game. Alright, Anchorage and New York appear to be trying to find the flank. Interesting to see whether they push around it. It's always a uh, Questionable, you know, a, a very skillful player can get around that corner there and create some havoc for the enemy team, depending, of course, of course upon what they did. Friendly Shiratsuyu is in the cap contesting, and Reacher is in position to be able to help. Yeah, there's our Akatsuki, apparently stopping, probably going to reverse. You can see the little dot, yeah, just went red. He is reversing and he's got his speed boost activated. Reacher's shells went a little bit high, but it looks like the team's going to finish him off him. Yeah. Oh, Pensacola is showing broadside. That's a missed opportunity, but <laughs> Reacher is, is positioning to be able to take advantage of that. You can see there's a sin up out there wide. Reacher can smack this Pensacola. Oh, he's aiming carefully. That looks pretty darn good. And there's a Citadel. Oh, Pensacola is in serious trouble. He probably will not push up close again. the Sinop. Good idea. Don't want to get caught broadside even in a Vladivostok. Looks like Pensacola smacked an island. And Belfast is moving into position to go down. Anchorage got it first. And Reger is on the move. He's headed into the Cappies. Looks to me like he's going to try and take advantage of the fact that there's just a Miyoko back there by himself to help secure the cap. And then they'll kind of pinch the Sinop into the corner completely. Pretty hard for the Sinop to run away with the Vladivostok guns here. Can he get over the top of the island? He can. Oh, this might hurt. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. 
So Akazuki is now beat up. Oh, Akazuki's in big trouble there. Akazuki goes down. The enemy team is in real trouble without any DD at all. Akazuki. Oh, 498 points. Come on, Colorado. You can finish him off. Oh, a broadside Miyoko. Holy cow, that thing's just a big floating citadel. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Oh, double citadel on the Miyoko. Down goes the Akazuki. Belfast might be able to finish off Akazuki here. He's got what, a seven and a half second reload. I don't think Miyoko can get out of range before Belfast finishes. Unless well, Belfast just sits there and doesn't shoot. Oh, no, Miyoko's going to show Pratside again. <laughs> okay, Reach. And that ought to do it. Synop is now pushing. You can see Reacher's got just over 30 degree angle to uh, the Synop. Just kind of nose in just a bit. Can't really help him out the shells. And now Synop's going to show full broadside to the Vladivostok. Oh man, it doesn't get any better than that. There's a Citadel. You're gonna keep his nose to him or try to get his rear guns on him. I think it's probably smart to do what he's doing. Maintain your angle. Just look for those front guns to reload. So we're seven minutes in, more or less. Reader's got almost 84,000 in damage. One kill, four citadels. And it looks to me like he's gonna have an opportunity to chase down this and I'm gonna finish it off. Set up and still did almost 7,000 damage. And you can see in here the enemy CV was in there trying to help. But with the Belfast and the Vladivostok AP going, it didn't do much, and Belfast finishes off set up with a torpedo. Some nice synergy there between the Belfast and read your blood in his blood of time. Where to go now? Uh, this game is this game is looking a little less grim now for the bad guys, but uh, still isn't looking good. The, the bad guys do have the advantage of two caps to one, so their point accumulation over time, if all else remains equal, will even this out, and they could with 12 minutes left. Still win this purely on poor points if nothing else got sunk. Taking a look at the current damage, uh, Belfast and Shiratsuyu are in pretty bad shape. So is the Visa, uh, which apparently got spotted. You can see he's down there on the, the J line. Enemy CV is going to try and take advantage of the fact that Reader's out here by himself. You can see York back there, but. It's too far away, I think, to offer much in the way of AA assistance. So the Ranger is able to drop Ranger. It's too close. It's almost 5,000 in damage. The Ranger's going to probably have to repair here. And then wait for his cooldown. Now, on uh, Russian battleships, it's not very long. You can see we're down to 34 seconds already. In most games, that's just a straight-up advantage, in my opinion. There are games, and have been games that I've played, where you, know, you, you run out of the ability to use those. But it doesn't happen very often. Anchorage goes down to enemy fire, and the good guys now have only a one ship advantage. Still have a Belfast and Visa who are badly beaten up. And the Ranger apparently is going to 
focus primarily on Ranger. Dallas is right there. Does Ranger see him yet? I think he just did. Now Dallas doesn't have the armor to go head to head with this uh, Vladivostok, but RNG was not kind there. Dallas does not have torpedoes. And foolishly is going to close the distance. Reacher's going to be able to bring all his guns to bear here in about 8 seconds. And my guess is probably that will be all she wrote for the Dallas. Yep, that's it. Крейсер противника уничтожен. That was nuts for the Dallas to close the distance like that, and Ranger really capitalized on it. Nicely done. Now York's in a position to be able to offer some AA support. And you can see that there are enemy bombers coming in from the Ranger. And York's AA activated first, and he'll be helping to slow down the, the ability to... Oh, wow. <laughs> now that is going to be a nice, juicy citadel. Hipper just started to reverse, but great shot, Reacher. Definitely not in time to save himself. That's three kills for Reacher, 130,000 damage, and currently 15 aircraft, well, yeah, now 17 aircraft and counting. Down goes Lennon. Two enemy ships remain, one of them the Ranger, the other, of course, that Colorado that you see out there. This game's all but over. And Reger did more than his share. York appears to be moving into position to help secure the B-cap. Reger's got himself in a position where he's going to have to run around this island. Um, which is going to take a little bit of time. It remains to be seen whether the Colorado will even be there when he gets there. But I don't really see any way that the the red team can come back from this. And Kagero is out there obviously throwing torps from behind the Colorado. Colorado is not fast enough to be able to outrun them, so first time a torpedo strike lands home, that's it for the Colorado. He's also got the friendly CV harassing him. And he's burning. Reger's going to be able to get guns on the Colorado. Maybe Reger will finish off the Colorado. One shell. Not a whole heck of a lot of damage. 17 seconds till he's reloaded again. Yeah, I think Reger's going to be able to finish off this Colorado. I don't think the Colorado armor is going to be able to withstand what's coming here. Oh, and he's even finished a broadside. Yep, yeah, good shot, Reach. That's going to do it. Well, of course it's going to do it. 200 points. Nick <laughs> Kagero captain's probably cursing you right there. So that's four kills, 134,000 damage. Five citadels. 17 aircraft shot down, 14 secondary hits, 43 shells on target. That's a pretty darn good game. Of course, as I mentioned in my Vladivostok game that I posted up not too long ago, being top tier in a Vladivostok is... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's so much fun, it probably ought to be against the rules. <laughs> well, Kagero has got the Ranger spotted, so the friendly CV will now be able to uh, help out with that. So at this point, I'm going to say, Reacher, thank you very much for sending in the game file. This was fun to watch, and you did a great job. 
you really made the most of your opportunities in this game and put this ship to good use in my opinion. Those of you watching, thanks very much for joining me. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Five minutes to the end. Наша команда близка к победе.